On completing this in-service, you will be able to number one, understand the importance of thawing foods properly, number two, know the acceptable methods for thawing foods, and number three, discuss proper labeling and dating when thawing foods. Thawing frozen food correctly is important for keeping food safe to eat. The FDA food code states that the temperature of food should not exceed 41 degrees Fahrenheit during the thawing process. Cooks must plan ahead so that they can use an appropriate method for thawing. Thawing frozen food correctly is important for keeping food safe to eat and prevent the occurrence of a foodborne illness. Acceptable methods of thawing foods. Freezing food keeps most bacteria from multiplying but will not kill them. If food is allowed to enter the danger zone of 41 to 135, bacteria will grow rapidly. There are four acceptable methods for thawing food. In a refrigerator, under cold running water, in a microwave, or as part of the cooking process. Plan ahead to determine the quantity of food needed and when the food should be thawed. When to thaw foods should be indicated on a daily production record. Use one of the four safe methods when thawing food frozen foods. For refrigerator thawing, check the temperature at the end of the thawing process. If the refrigeration unit is working properly, the food should never exceed 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So for refrigeration thawing, maintain the food temperature at 41 degrees or less. Refrigerator temperature should be monitored and temperature is recorded three times a day to ensure product is kept in a safe temperature zone of 41 degrees or below. Best practice is to take and record refrigerator temperatures when staff arriving for morning shift, midday and prior to leaving at night. Food products should be removed from boxes and placed in pans with adequate room between to allow for air circulation. All meat products and eggs should be placed in a drip-proof container on the bottom shelf. Best practice is to designate a rack or shelves for thawing meat or other products so that juices cannot drip on other foods. Change the drip pan when liquid is visible in the pan. Allow adequate time for thawing. Product density will determine the length of time required to completely thaw. Individual meat patties, chicken pieces, ground meat, fish, and liquid eggs thaw in one to two days, while meat roasts and whole birds may require two to three days. Foods must be labeled and dated when they are removed from the freezer. Add a use-by date when placing refrigerator to thaw. Running water. Thaw frozen food completely submerged under clean, drinkable running water. The water flow should be strong enough to wash loose par food particles into the overflow drain. The water temperature should be 7 degrees or below. Never use warm or hot water as the product will begin to cook. Microwave may be used. Thaw in a microwave oven and immediately transfer to conventional cooking equipment with no interruption in the process. Or in the cooking, thaw frozen food as part of the cooking process. That is typical for frozen patties, nuggets, pizza, or lasagna. Let's test your knowledge, thawing foods properly. Question number one, during the thawing process, the temperature of the food must not exceed A, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, B, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, C, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, none of the above. And the answer to question number one, during the thawing process, the temperature of the food must not exceed C, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number two, which of the following is not an acceptable method of thawing foods? A, refrigerator at 41 degrees or less. B, microwave if food will be cooked immediately. C, under clean 70 degree Fahrenheit or below drinkable running water, or D, countertop. And the answer to question number two, which of the following is not an acceptable method of fine foods? That would be D, countertop. Question number three, thawing frozen foods as part of the cooking process includes the following foods. A, pizza, B, chicken nuggets, C, lasagna, or D, all of the above. And 
the answer to question number three, thawing frozen foods as part of the cooking process includes the following foods. D, all of the above. Question number four, true or false? Foods must be labeled and dated when they are removed from the freezer. And the answer to question number four, is true. Foods must be labeled and dated when they are removed from the freezer. Question number five, true or false? There is no need to have a use-by date when placing food in the refrigerator to defrost. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs or consulting dietitian services, please contact us at Nutrition Care Systems 1-800-761-9200 or nutritioncaresystems.com.